Hello. Hi, is let me know if this works because I I don't know what I'm doing, okay? If you see me and you can hear me, just like say something. Oh shit, there's people here. <laughs> Okay, just let me like uh, set up. Okay, can y'all hear me? All right, great. Welcome everybody. Um, we're gonna do a quick write with me thing. So I want you all to, uh, if you want to join, just bring like pen and paper or ink or pencil or whatever and we're gonna just write together, okay? So I'm gonna give you time to get stuff ready. I hope everyone's staying safe and staying in um we're all you know hopefully indoors i'm actually not set up sorry <laughs> i just woke up actually Okay, so thank you all for coming. Um, again, I hope you all are uh, staying safe and staying indoors. It's a very freaky time, but you know, uh, if you keep positive, it's actually a good time to practice and, you know, do stuff. And part of that stuff is uh, learning to write i guess or practicing our uh, cursive so i'm gonna use a fountain pen and what we're gonna do is i'm gonna we're gonna do a little kind of like a quiz i guess so get some paper some pen or pencil or whatever you want you can even use a deep nib if you want and I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Uh, like a quiz, like write with me. And our topic today is my favorite topic. We're going to talk about food. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you stuff like, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite fruit? You know, and then if your favorite fruit is um, apples, then I want you to write apples three times. In cursive, in your best cursive. Okay, and we'll we'll just keep going and going and write stuff, and hopefully you will uh, keep our cursive in practice. I haven't been writing cursive in a long time, so I'm out of practice. So let's uh, let's try this out. <laughs> it's not a quiz, but you know, there's no wrong answers. No, no one's gonna tell you your favorite food is wrong, right? All right. And if you can't think of anything, just write whatever, you know, it's not like I can see what you're doing. Or you can copy my answers if you like. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna get started soon. Thanks for coming again. All right, so again, we're gonna write the answer three times. 
um, and the only rule is don't think too much okay don't be like hmm what's my favorite fruit and just think too much just write whatever okay we just want to get things going all right okay it's five o'clock first question what is your favorite fruit okay I really like cantaloupe oh my god I am so out of practice Is that how you spell cantaloupe? Okay. Second question. Which fruit is your most hated fruit? What fruit do you hate? Mm. I don't really like durians. Really cold, very soon. Hmm. It's not really my favorite vegetable, but what's the vegetable that you hate the most? Oops, I was supposed to write that three times. Hmm. Oh man, I should have wrote vegan tempura vegetable. <laughs> Uh, what was your previous meal? Whatever it was, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, what did you have last? I had pizza. Don't judge. So we ordered pizza delivery yesterday. So convenient in this in this time and of course you know you gotta tip them like extra because they're working really hard to keep us in check what is gonna be your next meal what do you plan to eat next I've got some leftover chicken porridge defrosting so you can see that um, I'm spacing out my writing a lot because I feel that's always a cheat to writing better. When in doubt, space it out. I think I'm I think I'm loosening up a little bit. Mm. Write five things that you have in your fridge right now. Um uh himsa three kilos of rice is a lot of rice. <laughs> that should last you a long time. I have fish balls don't ask me why but when I, when I went to the grocery the first thing I got was fish balls my panic shopping equals fish balls I have um I have milk and eggs.
My milk's going bad, so I better drink it. Fi I drink, better finish it. And yes, I found eggs. I heard it's out everywhere else. But I'm hoarding the eggs that I have like gold. Mm. You know what, Ramil? Maybe I would do that. <laughs> I know I owe the uh, cursive capital U to Z. For like three years now, so now that I have time, I'll fix it. Um, I have mushrooms. Fun fact, do you know you could freeze eggs? You put them in ice cubes, like you gotta break them. And once they're frozen, you can just pop them out of ice cubes and put them in a ziploc bag mushroom mushrooms mushrooms i've got tofu which is running out too so if you guys are just joining um we are doing a ride together along with me so grab a pen grab a pencil i'm gonna ask you questions about food and write your answers with me okay okay so one two three four five okay next question so finish up whatever you're writing let's see what's your favorite flavor of potato chips and i know you have a favorite flavor if you don't like potato chips just write i don't like potato chips and go back to whatever planet you come from And the only rule is, if you are joining us, is to write your answers three times. You know, I didn't even think about using caps. <laughs> um, I hate capital letters. So, we just do lowercase for now. Okay, that was favorite potato chips. What potato chip flavor do you hate? most hmm I hate barbecue flavor it's gross this pen I'm using right now is my my trusty old Namiki I've had this for years now and I've had a lot more fountain pens but Honestly, I don't know where all the others are, but this one has always been by my side. Only problem is it dries up frequently, I don't know why, so I occasionally have to do this. Ew, why are you finding horseradish? See, I'm just forcing ink to come out like that. So, next, it's gonna write really well. Okay. What is your favorite meal to cook? I love making omelets. Into a grocery yet? Do you find eggs there? Well, you know, for what am I 
thinking <laughs> omelets oh okay all right um next question what's your favorite food like all time like if you're in a like in a in an island somewhere and you can only bring one kind of food what are you gonna bring it i would bring recently i've been obsessed with xiao long bao it's this chinese style um, dumplings i guess oh my god it's so good when all this is over go find some you'll be obsessed with it wild horse i know i'm hungry too <laughs> Like if you it, like, we're all staying indoors all day. I don't know about you guys, but being indoors all day makes me want to snack all the time. I've been snacking so much. So next question: What's your favorite snack? Hmm. We already wrote potato chips. Let's think of something else. I love rice cakes. Like rice crackers, you know. They sell them at Chinatown for like a dollar for a pack of 12 or something and I could eat that whole pack by myself in an hour. I don't know if I'm supposed to be embarrassed or like proud of that. <laughs> what snack do you not like? Hmm. You know what? I never understood peanut butter and jelly. I'm gonna try writing a little faster and see. my god I used to be on one of those fruit jelly kicks like what you call the sour patch kids I I was obsessed with it for a while and I bought like a giant bag of it and I kind of overdosed on it so now I can't even look at it anymore <laughs> okay So for y'all who are just joining us, we are doing a write with me. So I want you to grab a paper, pencil, pen, you know, whatever you have, you know, and write down the quiz questions I'm giving you. There's no right answer, there's no wrong answer, just write whatever you want. So uh, hopefully we'll keep, this in, keep us in practice and, you know, slow down this craziness that's going on. All right, ready? Next question. Mm -hmm. We already did fruit. What's your favorite fast food? Pizza, burger, or I'm going to say fried chicken. Don't judge me. I know you're judging, but I love KFC, okay? In fact, <laughs> for it's been a tradition that on my birthday, I would grab fried chicken from KFC and take the day off and just devour it. <laughs> I did that for like the past five years now, maybe even longer. If you guys are writing along, you know, write in the chat. Tell me what you're writing with. I'm curious. Watermans are cool. Is anyone writing with uh, a dip nib? 
maybe we'll have a session tomorrow and we can use the dim nibs. Okay, what kind of fast food do you not like? Mm. Honestly, I don't really like burgers. Unless it's in and out. But even then, I'm like, hmm, okay. Four, Pilot Heritage, nice. What food would you like to try that you've never tried before? Hmm. I'm going to think about this. Hmm. I want to try like a fancy, you know, sturgeon caviar or like, like the really good kind. only had caviar once and it was like this small <laughs> that they gave me and I'm like how am I supposed to taste anything but I guess you know it's expensive stuff so but one day if I'm if I strike the lottery I'm gonna buy like a giant clump of it and just eat the whole thing mmm Ray, I've had um, escargot, that's like French snails, it's yummy, <laughs> I know, <laughs> you gotta try it. Tsuyukusa, that's um, Hiroshizuku, right? That's That sounds like an awesome combo. What food do you absolutely hate? That you just can't stand. Did I write artichoke already? Yeah, I did, but I'm gonna write it again. I freaking hate artichokes. Oh my god, himself, we gotta make you some rundown. Like, good rundown. Rendang is like a Malaysian hmm, beef in like this really thick curry kind of with like a <sighs> coconut base. It's so good. Yo, I'm getting hungry. Oh my god, okra is disgusting. <laughs> I hate okra. That's a good one. Hmm, okay, next question. Ready? Mm. What does your mom make that you love? Or like your friends or whoever close to you makes you some food that you just love and you can't you can't forget about it. Cottage cheese is disgusting. My mom makes the best eggplant. <sighs> I try to make it and she's she's given me the recipe, you know, she showed me, but I just can't make it. What food did you eat that you don't really like, even though, you know, everyone likes it? What popular food do you not like? Okay. I don't like steak. So I live in Las Vegas where there's like, you know, tons of steak houses and everything. And I've been to some pretty good ones. I've been to Laurie's. Um, Charlie Palmer's and 
other places don't like it if you guys have any suggestions for questions just write it out because I'm running out of ideas I'm just hungry now <laughs> Okay, if you do guys, if you guys do like steak, how do you like it? Let's see. I would always order oops, medium rare. Oh man. I hate writing hours. MED, god damn it. Hi. You. That's tricky. Side, do you like with your steak? You know, I I go for steak houses for the sides, man. But I gotta have a mushroom sauce and mashed potato. But I'm just gonna write mashed potato. My boss is always raves about wagyu beef you know it's like this fancy cow from japan who's like i don't know be massaged and they play classical music i don't know what it's like 200 pieces 200 dollars for like a tiny piece and he's like it's the best thing ever and i'm like well you're the boss you can afford it <laughs> one day will i go try it as long as i don't have to pay for it all right, let's see. What do you normally overeat? Oh my God, so embarrassing. Hmm. I mentioned I could eat a whole bag of rice cakes. Now you guys don't want to see me with a bag of potato chips. I will I annihilate a bag of potato chips and I would I would usually buy it when there's nobody else in the house so I can eat the whole bag <laughs> if you guys are, are just joining we are doing a write with me so grab some paper some pen or pencil or whatever and just write with us you know we're we asking questions about food if you have any suggestions for questions you can write in the chat box but just write with us okay Hmm, what do you normally overeat? You know, we should all be eating more vegetables now. What's your favorite salad dressing? Speaking of vegetables. Um, I like balsamic vinegar. I know ranch is supposed to be a salad dressing, but you guys are crazy. How can you even... It's not a dressing, it's a sauce. This is really fun to write. I love writing long words. <laughs> James, <laughs> one time I bought a whole box of chips and it was so embarrassing because they had to open it up at a counter to count the bags. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little embarrassing, but I will be proud of myself. <laughs> Just stand there and own it, man. You gotta tell us what kind of chips that is. It must be good. 
Hmm. If you caught the virus, what would be the best food to speed recovery? Man, we don't know, but let's see. If you caught a virus, what kind of food would you want to have? Okay, let's, let's write that. So this virus is kind of like a flu or something. Oh, it's, it's worse than the flu. It's really, really bad. You don't want it. Um, so when you get the flu and the fever, it gives you hardness, uh, uh, breath shortages. If I had it, which, you know, fingers crossed, you know, I hope not, none of us ever have it, but I would like to have some comforting soup chicken soup I hope everyone's staying in staying safe the whole point of us staying in is to what they call it you know flatten the curve so nobody else can spread it out right There's a lot of crazy people in town going out and having fun. I'm like, you guys are bananas. Just stay home. Stay home and write cursive. Okay. Let's see. Mm. What is your favorite drink? Yeah, that's a good one. Guys, I've been obsessed with La Croix. I know it's like a really weird drink. It doesn't taste good. I know it. But I just can't stop drinking it. It's like... Crack. You know, when I went to the grocery and everyone's like... Buying waters and toilet paper. <laughs> I just bought three whole packs of La Croix. <laughs> That's all I want. Okay. What... Um, so what's your favorite soda? Okay. I like Diet Coke. I'm simple. I love root beer floats too, but I just can't have that anymore. It's just way too sugary. I would bounce off the walls if I had it. But when I was a kid, that was like my favorite. Frazier says, La Croix tastes like you're drinking tap water and someone's shouting the f name of a fruit in an adjacent room. <laughs> yup, sounds about right. Tastes about right. It's true. <laughs> what soda do you guys not like? Like, you can't stand it. Oh, Mountain Dew is just disgusting. Hey, if you guys are just joining us, we are writing cursive together. So go grab some paper, some pens, pencil, whatever you have, okay? And write with us. You gotta write it in cursive, you gotta write it three times. That's the only rule. And if you have any ideas for questions, you can write it in chat. You just It just has to be food related, okay? Because we are all hungry. <clears throat> oh man, I remember the first time I had Dr. Pepper. I was like, what is this? <laughs> Did you guys know there is a Dr. Pepper um, documentary on like Hulu or something, or Amazon Prime or something? It's fascinating. It's all right. Next question. All right, Pixar. Let's go back to Pixar. Write write down three ingredients that you like on your Pixar. 
I always want olives. I always put mushrooms. Hey Christian, I'm using uh, Rhodia right now. Rhodia is a brand of paper. I, it's a pretty good brand. I use it for everything. I love them. But for fountain pens, you can use any kind of fine paper. In fact, you could use like you could go to like Fountain Pen Network and ask for suggestions and I'm pretty sure you'll have like a thousand replies. <laughs> okay, what do you, what would you never put on your pizza? Like you think it's the worst thing ever on a pizza. Guys, I hate, I don't understand um, anchovies on pizza. I don't get it. Mmm, Takora likes pepperoni, garlic, and pesto risotto. That sounds delicious. This puppy likes mozzarella, arugula, and extra tomato. Pineapple on a pizza! Alright. I'm for it. Some people hate it. It's like a 50-50 thing. It's been tainted. It's been defiled. I also can't stand like spinach on pizza. You know, I'm trying to be unhealthy here. Don't ruin it for me. Vegetables on pizza. Psh, get out of here. I'm gonna write pineapples because I know people hate pineapples and pineapples is fun to write so if you guys just joined us we are doing a write along with me grab a paper grab pens grab whatever and answer some questions and write on the uh, chat box what you're using you know i want to know what kind of pen you're using what kind of paper you're using and if you have any questions about if you have any suggestions for questions write it out it's just gotta be food related okay we are all single-minded here it's all about food all right next question <clears throat> Thin crust or stuffed crust? Thin crust all the way, guys. Okay, I promise, no more pizza questions. I'm gonna switch to sushi. Okay, I hope you guys like sushi. What's your favorite sushi? Salmon, salmon, salmon. I also like unagi. Okay. 
California rose, yeah. Sounds good. Do you guys put um, ginger or wasabi with your soy sauce? Because I don't like wasabi. No wasabi, please. Okay, what sushi do you guys not like? This is gonna be tough because I like all of them. I'm just gonna write uni because I didn't always like it. I remember the first time I had it and if you guys don't know uni is a sea urchin and you gotta really be prepared for it <laughs> because otherwise you're like, oh, what is this? Hmm. I never order the egg, the egg sushi, I, the tamago. I mean, I know it's good. I know it takes a lot of skill to make, blah, 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 but I feel like you're just wasting money if you order it, right? It's egg and sugar, I could make it myself. Oh my God, Colby. You had soft shell crab as your first sushi. <laughs> you went from zero to hero, man. <laughs> okay, Fraser, we're gonna fight. I love avocado. Okay, so next question. What um what do you like with your sushi, like in your sushi roll? You can put cream cheese, you can put cucumber or avocado. I'm gonna write avocado. You know, avocado in sushi is like, I think it was like unheard of in Japan because it's not a native fruit for them, so it's like a relatively new thing. But it's the best combo. <laughs> I guess it's the same with cream cheese too, right? I mean, it's not really a Japanese thing. Mm. What? appetizers do you like when you get sushi? Miso soup or edamame? I gotta get my miso soup. Um, I'm not gonna do flourishes or caps today. You know, I think this is a uh, pretty good I'm gonna schedule another one in the future and we'll do flourishes and caps but today we're just gonna stick to simple old food grocery list yeah guys this is gonna be my grocery list I'm gonna buy every single one of these once all this thing dies down I'm gonna buy a whole cartload of artichokes <laughs> gonna eat it all can't wait Mm. Pickles. Okay, if you guys are, s are just joining us, we are writing cursive together. So I want you guys to grab some pens, paper, p pen, or ink, or pencil, or whatever, and uh, write down some food quizzes with us. And if you got any suggestions for questions, you can write it in your in the chat room. It's just gotta be food related. <clears throat> so we did steak, sushi, pizza. Let's talk about home cooking. What was the last thing you made? Okay, no cheating, okay? What was the last thing you made? <sighs> I made wraps. I made... This is...
I made a hummus sour cream wrap. <laughs> I know, it's gross. Shut up. <laughs> I put some chicken in it too, but I was like, man, my fridge is, I don't want to go out, so that's all I got, man. You guys got to write hummus. It's really fun to write. I'm going to write it extra big for y'all. Oof, the M and the U and all that, the crazy. What food would you like to make in the future? And this is stuff that is available in your fridge right now, okay? No cheating. Considering what I have, I could make... <laughs> I could make instant noodles, yay! I always gotta put eggs in my instant noodles. Oh man, you guys are great cooks. Chickpea couscous, veggie lasagna, vegetable Thai curry. Damn, my hummus sour cream wrap sounds terrible. <laughs> Come and cook for me. What is your favorite kind of potato? Okay, okay. Think about your potato. You can cook it so many ways. You could mash them, boil them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> How do you like it? <clears throat> oh, I like potato wedges. Marilyn, all you have is butter. Oh man. Just gonna have to eat that stick of butter, man. Live your life. Live your best life. What's your least favorite way to cook potato? So, my favorite was wedges, and my least favorite for potatoes. Hmm, you know, I love potatoes so much, but I am a mashed potato snob. I know exactly how I like it. When other people make it, I'm like, I don't know. It's too easy to like mess up, you know, like if you don't just put the cream and the this and the that. Oh my god, potato latkes. Oh, latkes. That's my favorite. <laughs> my last trip to the grocery was last week and all I needed was potatoes. It, it was all sold out. So I am a sad potatoless calligrapher. All right. If you guys are just joining us, we are writing in cursive together. So you gotta join us, all right? Grab some paper, grab some pens, pencil, ink, anything you want, and answer these food-related questions. If you got any any uh, suggestions for questions, you can write it in the chat. It's just gotta be food-related. <clears throat>
Okay, uh, let's pretend we are in your favorite restaurant. Okay, let's think. I'm thinking about my favorite restaurant. What would be three things that you would order from there? Three things. No drinks, just appetizers, entrees, dessert if you want, but three things from your favorite restaurant. And if you want, you can write this in the chat box too. I want to see what you guys order. But I'm thinking of my favorite restaurant right now. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I always get salmon kama. That salmon collar as an appetizer. This place has the best. They grill it. And it is so yummy. It's like ten dollars, but my god, <clears throat> I'll I'll pay anything. Mm. The second thing I order is always Alaska roll. Alaska roll is salmon with cream cheese. I really like my salmon. Bye Colby, thanks for coming. Good luck for your quiz. Stay safe. Antipasto. Hmm. Oh, what's Bumoni? I gotta look it up. Okay, my third thing I always get green tea ice cream. I really wish I could see what you guys are writing. Let's move to ice cream. What is your favorite ice cream? Mmm, cherry ice cream. Oh, that sounds delicious. My favorite ice cream is green tea ice cream, but I'm gonna write something else now. I really like pistachio. Oh, spermoni sounds delicious. It's like my kind of... Mmm. <sighs> What ice cream flavor do you not like? Like you just can't stand it. Man, can't stand vanilla. Even if you give me free vanilla ice cream, I'd be like, no thanks. What are your favorite ice cream toppings? Hmm. Chocolate chips, for sure. You guys know those uh, frozen yogurt places? Where you can just grab a cup and you just fill it with whatever you want. It's like a, it's like a buffet of like, topics. And they just charge you based on how heavy it is. So you can just put anything you want. You can put like... All chocolate chips if you want. I love those places but I always feel embarrassed because all my toppings are chocolate. Chocolate chip cookies, Oreos, chocolate wafers, 
<laughs> and I'll bring it to the cashier, and the cashier's like, mm, really? <laughs> Whatever, man, let me have my ice cream. You guys, you guys can put gummy bears in your ice cream? I know that. Hmm. Mmm, mint chocolate chip. Alright, I've got the perfect next question. I know we're all in lockdown now, we're not supposed to go out, and I hope you guys are not going out, staying safe. Once all this thing blows over, okay, where is the first thing you're gonna go? The first restaurant you'll go to? And a lot of places are delivering, <clears throat> you know, it's great, but the first place you will go in person to sit down and enjoy a meal. <sighs> I am craving this one place called Shanghai Taste. It's Chinese food and they have the best dumplings. And I feel really bad for them because they just opened and then all this crap hits. So I hope they're doing okay. Oh my god, Marilyn, yogurt land. That's the one I'm talking about. I love yogurt land. You put cheese in ice cream? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> cheese, like straight up cheese? Like, like cheese, shredded cheese in ice cream? You gotta answer, James, you gotta answer that. Yeah, they make that's in Chinatown. Are you in Vegas too? Oh my god, what the heck is blue cheese ice cream? Hmm. <laughs> mm, okay. Maybe I gotta try it. You know, we all eat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Huh. <laughs> Mm. Hmm. I can't get over that. I have I have some cheese in my freezer right now, and and I have ice cream too. Maybe I'll try it. I'll report back. All right, we are moving on from ice cream to chocolate. Okay. So Wild Horse asks, "What's your favorite chocolate? Milk, dark, white chocolate?" what brand i don't care about the brand but i gotta have my milk chocolate I do like Hershey's. I'm simple. Gear Gear is good too, but I don't know how to spell it, so I'm just gonna write Hershey's. <clears throat> All right. Let's move on to coffee questions or tea. What's your favorite drink from Starbucks? Or your favorite tea or latte or whatever? When I go to Starbucks, I gotta get that, um, that dragon fruit tea thing they have. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's dragon fruit something. That was my dryer. It's a pink 
tea and it's super sweet and it's so yummy. Mango Dragon Fruit Refresher. Thank you, Oni-chan. That's it. I always forget what it's called. I would just be like, you know, the pink one. <laughs> the thing with the thing, you know. <laughs> mm, what do you put in your coffee or your, or your tea? Do you put milk or creamer or sugar? I don't put anything in my tea, so I just drink it straight up. I'm gonna write plain tea. For Lucio Romero, I'm using a Namiki Falcon right now, and this is SF, soft fine. Soft fine means I'm technically supposed to be able to uh, flex this nib like that. I don't wanna do that. Just ruins the nib, I think. Oh my god, condensed milk is the best. I would put that in my drinks and just looking at it would add 10 pounds. Okay, plain tea. All right, let's talk about pasta. I learned about pasta today. Um, what's your favorite kind of pasta noodle? I don't know what a tagliatelle is, but I'm gonna write it. That looks fun. Tagliatelle. My favorite is actually um, angel, hell, angel hair pasta, the really thin noodles. Oh my god, I could eat it all day. If you guys are just joining us, we are writing cursive together. We're gonna go about this for maybe 10, 15 more minutes. So grab a paper, grab pens, grab uh, pencils and answer some food related questions with us. What pasta that what pasta don't you like? Okay, I don't know what those thick noodles is called. I'm just gonna write spaghetti. Like those thick spaghetti noodles. I don't like those. Is anyone from Italy here? I hope you guys are if anyone's from Italy and watching and hope you're doing okay. Um We'll get over this. Just stay home and stay safe, guys. What's your favorite pasta sauce? Okay, I don't know much about pasta, but I have a feeling if I write Prego, you guys are gonna kill me. <laughs> I do love Prego, though. <laughs> Mm. You know what? I had squid ink pasta before and it was delicious. So I'm gonna write that. It it's it's more sophisticated than Prego, I guess. <laughs> There is a place in Las Vegas that's 
don't know what it's called, but it's like a trattoria, but it's a fusion trattoria. It's Italian and Japanese fusion food. So they had squid ink udon. Can you believe it? It was delicious, but my mind was blown. What cheese do you put on your pasta? I'm basic. I just put Parmesan. All the cheese. <laughs> okay, let's talk about dessert. What's your favorite kind of cake? Oh, I gotta have a really good chocolate cake. Like just a sinful chocolate cake. Like a slice from hell. Oh yeah. What kind of cake do you not like, if that's even possible? Oh my god, cheesecake. Oh, strawberry cake. Mm, I cannot stand plain white cake. Or oh, what do they call it? Angel food? My goodness. Next question. <clears throat> oh my god, my friend makes a zucchini cake. She makes she grows zucchini and I would like break into her house to like steal her cake. <sighs> oh I want cake now. Oh my god, fruit cake, you're right, that's gross. Um what's your favorite kind of baked goods? Like muffins or bagels or anything that's baked I don't really like muffins but I do like mm, croissants especially chocolate chip croissants oh I could murder those Okay, what's your favorite bagel? Hmm. I like garlic bagels. Put some capers on there, put some cream cheese and some lox. <sighs> Talk about seafood. What's your favorite kind of fish? Now, you know I'm gonna write salmon. <laughs> I wrote I wrote salmon so many times, so I'm gonna write something else. I'm gonna write um mackerel. It's not really my favorite fish, but it's okay. Rainbow trout. What's your favorite fish 
dish like how do you like to prepare it do you like this you like it just grilled or you like it in a soup or in a stew what's your favorite fish dish i gotta think about this hmm fish curry oh yeah Problem is, I don't know how to make it. It's one of those things you just gotta go to a restaurant, you know. Some things are not worth making at home. Mm. Steamed fish is good. Yeah, it's so healthy. I'm sorry you guys had to see this. I know it's not pretty, but it's actually a scar from glue gun. So I was putting up uh, Halloween decorations on a ceiling with a glue gun, you know, and a drop of hot glue dropped right here. Oh my God, it hurt so bad. And that was like in last year, uh, last August. So still not going away. I hope it goes away soon. Alright, that was fish. Um, hmm. Let's move on to like meat. Do you guys like beef, chicken, or pork, venison? What's your favorite kind of meat? I gotta have my pork. What meat do you not like? I can't, I don't really like beef. Oh, that's hard to write. <clears throat> How do you like your meat? How do you do you like it in a curry or do you like it grilled or do you like it barbecued or let's see or a steak? I like it stir fried. Stir fried chicken with like rice and stuff. Mm. Honestly, I like it the best when somebody else is cooking. <laughs> All right. Mm. Did we cover all the food groups? Alright guys, let's pretend we are in a fancy restaurant, okay? This is like top class restaurant, like we're all wearing gowns right now. What would you order as a soup? Okay, and this chef is like, he's amazing. He can make anything you want, okay? This is our dream menu, okay? What would you tell this chef to make? What soup would you want? I gotta think about this. Mm. What do you call that seafood soup? There's a red seafood soup that's so yummy. I think it's Italian or something. But I'm just gonna write seafood soup. No, it's French, I think. I had it when I was in San Francisco and there was this um this this the fisherman's wharf and there's this restaurant there and they had this red seafood soup i swear to god it's like the best i've ever had 
It's really expensive too for a, for a soup. Well, actually, it's more like a stew. I'll remember it later. All right, guys, we just had the most amazing soup. We had the most amazing gumbo and abalone and clam chowder and and clam at per se, okay? All right, we're done with the soup. Now the waiters, he's really fancy. He's like, all right, uh, miss, sir, would you like to order your salad? Okay, what kind of salad would you guys want? Fancy salad, okay? <laughs> No. I'm in a fancy place. So I gotta order something fancy, right? I guess you're supposed to eat the salad before the soup. Oops. guys I can hear like classical music playing in the background <laughs> okay we are done with this salad course we are done with the soup course now what entree are you gonna order mmm they have everything they've got fish they've got meat they've got everything you want I'm gonna order the filet mignon yeah, I don't really like steak, but I do like a nice fillet. I'm just imagining this really snooty French waiter right now. Wait, wait, fillet coming right up. We're all seated by the window, you know, and stars everywhere, and we've got a really hot date. <laughs> He's paying. <laughs> yeah, just order whatever you want. I just got a filet mignon. It's delicious. A souffle gratin. Damn, Ray knows how to eat. I don't even know what it is, but it sounds delicious. All right. We are done with our entree, okay? You know, great conversation. <laughs> let's let's think about dessert. Remember, this is a fancy place. They have like the coolest desserts. What would you want? Hmm, I want one of those desserts that have like the foam and the smoke and the things coming out of it you know <laughs> i don't even know how, i don't even know how to order it um a baked alaska that's what i want again i don't even know what it is but i know it's fancy yes i'll have <clears throat> the baked alaska thanks yeah make it medium rare thank you It sounds like a delicious dinner. It sounds like an expensive dinner. But hey, imagination is free. Oh yeah, creme brulee and you gotta put the 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 chocolate thingies on it. Like a chocolate bowl and then you gotta spray that little syrup thing, make it look like porn, and then you gotta take a stick and you gotta crack it. <laughs> And they charge you fifty dollars. <laughs> All right, that was dessert. What a great meal! Let's get coffee. What kind of coffee do we want? <clears throat> I don't even know. I'm gonna get an espresso. Oh my god, we forgot to order cocktails. Damn, we forgot wine too. This date sucks.
you know what we're gonna move to the bar now okay it's such a beautiful night we just had coffee we're gonna move to the bar let's get some cute cocktails who says we can't right <laughs> now we are over sitting overviewing the uh, the window seat you know this is like high up in some tower okay I'm gonna order a Manhattan <laughs> Okay, I don't even like Manhattan's, but I feel like you gotta order something fancy. You can't have a sex on a beach in a fancy place. Come on. What is it that James Bond orders? An old-fashioned. Oh, my God. All right, guys, that was delicious. Thank you for joining me on such a yummy, yummy journey. I think we did, we got a lot done. We went through a food tour. I think it was very good. Um, I'm gonna be back, maybe, I don't know, tomorrow or Tuesday or something. But I'll announce, um, the next one beforehand so I'm thinking about six or seven o'clock uh, PST right now it's six so around this time it's gonna be the next one I'm gonna think of a topic I promise no more food <laughs> and again you know uh, I hope to see you there so I hope everyone's staying safe thanks for joining stay home stay safe don't go out um, if you get delivery tip 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 your delivery guy um thanks for watching bye what do i turn this off yeah